Hello everyone, Steel here again, continuing with the series. Today let's I'm gonna show you guys Phantom Bancho and he's the cover character of the game in this game. And he has a shotgun and a bull whip as you can see. And his stats are not that good overall, he only has damage and stamina for good stats. But don't get fooled by this, because Phantom is a really great character and has a lot of tools that can help you, even though he's not so strong stats-wise. So let's pick him up here. Let's start with the basic, like his move speed is okay, not the, the greatest, but not the worst too. He has okay like stamina region too. You can see that he recovers fairly okay. Uh, he has lots of damage, especially if you get close to people. And his range is not good because he uses a shotgun, so it's kind of tiny. But you can do well with his other skills and stuff. So let's start with those. These are his skills. I'm gonna show all of them really quick so you guys can see how they work. This is the normal sh aim and shoot. It's just a shotgun. It has a cone and it's okay if you get close it does more damage than if you shoot from from max distance uh, he has lead hammer which is his secondary skill with the shotgun with where is this his charges and it has increased range and it does great damage and knocks him back in the opposite direction and now this is the whip the normal whip stuns and applies a wound and the secondary whip it can hold the guy like that or you can pull him to you disarm him and get a good position for a shot while he's disarmed. So those are all Phantom skills and he his other special skill is his special dash. Like this is the normal dash and this is the special one. It's smaller than the normal one but what makes that dash strong is the fact that Phantom can do all his skills while dashing like that so he can dash and shoot and he can use the whip and even he can use his charge and moves so it's a it's the best way to use because I, as you can see he walks really slow so if you don't use the special dash it's gonna be really easy for people to avoid you because you're gonna be walking so the best way to use is just dash and shoot like that and that's what makes his dash really good you can dash to any direction you want but if you don't don't press any buttons on that direction he will dash where he's facing or right where you aim it like this and it's awesome so let's talk about some combos well phantom doesn't have that much combos but what i would call his combo is just whip get a shot in and get out this is his basic combo you can 
if you want, of course, if the guy comes to you and you have the opportunity, you can shoot once, you can shoot again after the whip. It's also a nice combo, especially if you hit all <laughs> and don't do like I just did. If you do that, it's really nice. And I believe for combos, that's all he has. I don't think you can do a lot of combos before people like to try to whip and do a hammer, but I don't think you have enough time to do like that. I don't know if you can still do that without people shooting you back, but you can try and see but mostly it's just a whip into a normal shot and getting out or you, you can stay in of course if you want just if you want to fight the guy but that's all for phantom combos i believe he doesn't have any more combos that you can do so let's move on to some tips and tricks for Phantom. Like Phantom is the maybe the best, but if not the best, one of the best for sure characters for poking because Lead Hammer is a great skill for that. It allows him to do pretty much everything with one move because if you hit a black hammer, you're basically doing decent damage, you're setting up a stun for your, your friends to follow up, you're getting yourself out of trouble after because of the knockback, and also you gain one stamina when you charge the lead hammer, as you saw that. Every time you charge the lead hammer, you gain one stamina back. So this is why lead hammer is Phantom, Phantom's best skill, in my opinion. The only problem with lead hammer is that you need some distance to charge it, because if you're really close, you will not have time to do that. But and also if you get hit while you like this let's say this guy shoot me i will lose my my hammer and i will go i would go just like this so i will have my aim on the normal shot and that's really bad for phantom so you kind of lose your charge, you have to do it again. But if you have time to charge and just go in, keep doing that. Like, it's, it's hard for people to avoid it, of course, if you, if you have good aim and hit them. It's a really great move to use. Uh, another thing you can do with the lead hammer is just run if you don't have stamina or if you want to save up your stamina you can just use it for run don't forget to be always reloading with phantom because if you don't reload he only has four bullets so he gets out of ammo really fast but the good thing is if you do reload he will not get out of ammo almost never because by the time he fires the second shot you can reload a bullet between so So it's really 
awesome. <coughs> uh, Phantom has one of the best animations when he's gonna aim, so he aims really fast. So a good thing for you to do uh, when you just want to keep shooting people is like shooting and let go of the aim and shoot again, let go of the aim. Because you can sh shoot really fast and you can use the time that you're not aiming to just move faster because if you keep your aim pressed he, he's gonna walk like this so you're gonna be like on the same place and if you shoot you're gonna be more active and make it hard for your enemy to hit you back or you can use your special dash to move if you wanna just keep aiming so you can just do that you know or you can even shoot while dashing like instead of dash stop shoot like you can Shoot, 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 and do that. And like use your hammer to initiate from really far. Like I'm gonna initiate on Kid Red, I can and get out. So this is a very good move. Especially to get people on cover. Like there's a guy cover in here, you can and get him with the whip and come in for shoot. And that's a great way for Phantom to initiate and poke and set up for friend and do everything. Phantom is really squishy, so you you wanna avoid damage as much as you can when you play Phantom. That's why I always tell you to stun, get a shot in and get out before people can shoot you back because even if, you, if your damage is really big and you wanna keep doing it, like it's, it's not a good trade. I would say only stay if you're gonna kill the guy. Like, I believe that, let's say this much health, I believe you can kill him before he gets up, or he, he gets out of the stun with the second shot. But maybe, maybe he still would shot me once, but it's okay. So if the guy is low, you can of course do that, but I would recommend for you to be men fighting people a lot when you play Phantom if if you're gonna get hit much and when you play Phantom try to always has always be near your friends because Phantom it's really good when you have friends around but of course you can always like Phantom is a really versatile character so you can always like go rogue and try to do stuff alone because you have so much mobility that even if there are more than one people chasing you, you can just outrun them, you know? So Phantom can do stuff alone, but I say stay near your friends because Phantom has maybe one of the best stuns in the game in terms of reliability his whip is very fast it has awesome range and it's very reliable so if you have friends around they can easily follow up any whip you get and also the hammer as i told you you can do damage and stun and your friends can go in so it's more powerful when you have friends 
and uh, try to be aware of like kid reds on your team that you know can throw bombs like phantom phantom relies a lot on, on his mobility so if you have any anything that can like decrease or limit the places that you can go it's bad for phantom so if if the if your team has a trapper even if he's just putting traps here in the back to protect him it's not very nice for phantom because like let's say you want to do a hammer on the guy and you might accidentally get him knocked back to a trap and if you get hit by a trap is the worst thing because phantom as i said relies a lot on just keep moving on his mobility so keeping keep yourself always in motion and stay really active when you play phantom you cannot spend much time just hiding and like try to always be doing something like dash and, and you already move to your next target Don't, don't stay too much like doing nothing because that's not very good for Phantom and uh, Phantom can whip people over over small ones of course I don't know for sure if you can whip if the guy is taking cover like this if you hit him I believe you can but I, I don't know that for sure, but you guys can try that and see if you can or not. And I guess that's it for Phantom. Tips and tricks. So let's talk about some builds. Well, some build, builds for Phantom I like to do as you guys already know damage and health but you might wanna try speed or stamina regen you know it might be good I only don't recommend fire rate because uh, phantom fire, fire rate works in a way that he can reload a bullet between shots and never be out of bullets like that and if you have more fire rate it might mess that timing off so it might be good because you're gonna shoot your four bullets really fast and do lots of damage but I don't think it's nice to have fire rate even though it might be good but I don't think it's good speed might be good because you know, speed is always nice and as I said, Phantom relies a lot on mobility, so speed might, might be a good stat. And stamina region, for the same reason, but because if you have more stamina region, you will be more like pressuring more with Phantom, which is awesome, because Phantom is a really nice character to just keep pressure on somebody and for chasing and for doing anything is nice but I still recommend damage and HP with priority for damage because although HP is good the plan when you play Phantom is not to get hit at all if you can so try to be really slippery it's, it's nice it's, if you keep moving you're gonna do really fine on avoiding damage as Phantom or if you just use your hammer to 
initiate and get back to a safe position right away. It's a really nice song. If you have more damage, it will boost either your hammers and when you get a shot really near, you see that there's massive damage, especially on squishy characters like Kid Red or Wolves or Trappers or Gunmans or other Phantoms. So, here we do lots of damage if you just shoot from really close. So, try to always keep mixing up what you're doing because like don't don't be doing the same stuff like always using hammer like that although it might might be might seem nice but people can adapt and because they know what you're gonna do they can like do some counterplay and get you and phantom cannot afford to make mistakes it's a high high risk, high reward, but if you, if you get caught, you're gonna be severely punished because Phantom can't take very much with his HP, so try to be careful at all times. And that's it guys, I believe that's all for phantoms basic basics so i hope you guys enjoy you if you enjoy leave a like if you want to subscribe to see my next videos when i upload it you can always do that and of course go to the steam chat group for secret branches on Steam because there will be all the players and the devs and you can chat with them and if you have any questions about this video you can comment or about this game you can always comment on the video and I will try to answer the best way I can and let me just put some some quick gameplay here with the bots so you guys get an idea of Awesome, and he, I'm sure that you guys will like him very, very much. So, go try him, and good luck on Lone Tree. Bye bye.